I think a large sign of spiritual maturity is when you are able to help your enemies. There was, I was working somewhere else and to make a long story shorter, that guy did something very wrong to me, very wrong. And I was hurt deeply about it. And around that time, or maybe a bit after that, I was receiving these constant thoughts. Kevin, if that person asks you for blah, 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 would you uh, do it for that person? And I was receiving, I am so serious, I was receiving those thoughts so much. Because I was thinking to myself, this guy is extremely rude. I think in all my life, that person would be in the top 10 of being the most rude to me. I am serious. I believe that is right. With him, I did not want to help that person no more. No more because that person hurt me very, like his whole, can I say persona? Maybe that is not the right word, but his whole whatever was so like spilling out ignorance, just ignorance, if that is not bad to say. And I wanted nothing to do with that man. Like, I believe that my, that man had had or maybe have psychological issues. I really think so. So I may not have passed that test. Maybe the Holy Spirit was trying to test me to see if I would be willing to still help that man, even though he did blah, blah, blah. I guess I did not pass that test. But there was a, a woman that did something and my heart was, not that I hated her, but my heart was set against her. Like I am doing nothing for you. And as time passed by, she spoke to me, not spoke to me, but I would text her and she asked for help. And immediately, maybe not the first time, I think the first time she asked for help, talking about the situation this year, this month, or last month, actually. I believe last month. I did not really take her seriously in some ways. But when she asked for help, was it today or yesterday? Like, there was, not to say an immediate response, but within myself, I felt like I should do it, if that makes any sense to you. I may have failed with that man, and even now, I don't know if I would still help that man, to be honest with you. Because what that man did, very, very strange man. I don't think I would have helped that. I don't know. Maybe I need more work on that. But I think it shows your true character if you are really able to help out people who have hurt you.
or people who have done you wrong. I think it shows the God in you, how he is working in you. I believe it is about spiritual maturity. We can't only be nice to those who are nice to us. We can't only give to those who give to us. Sometimes we may have to give to those who can't give back. If you are the type who can't give to your enemy, something is wrong with you. Something is not right. From my understanding, and my understanding is not so broad, I believe some people carry their pain. Maybe something happened to them when they was young. Perhaps they are holding all that spite, anger, misery, or whatever within themselves. And maybe as time passes by, it gets stronger and stronger. So they have all that mess within themselves. How do you think they are going to act towards you? Really well, respectfully? Maybe not. So I think at times when someone brings a problem to you, I think much of the time it's not you, it is not you that is the problem. There was a guy at work and he's having issues. And sometimes he talks about what is bothering him. And I remember one night, like, I don't know if he was just going along with everyone else, but he showed me a certain attitude and I was thinking like, why? And I think I asked him like, why do you have to talk that way to me? In so many words, that is what I told that person. Like, like, why do you even have to do that? Like, that is not necessary, man. I believe some people, now that may have been from what he was going through or maybe he heard something and wanted to speak to me a certain way because he heard something. I'm not all the way sure. But to get back to my main point, be able to help your enemies. You may think it is hard and it may be hard at times, but sometimes I receive a joy by being able to help some enemies because the way I see it, and maybe you should see it this way too, if you are constantly asking God for stuff, which I do, I constantly ask God for stuff, constantly, constantly. If you are constantly asking God for stuff, how does it look if you aren't willing to help others? You praying to God, God, work it out, work it out, God, help me with this job, help me with my uh money and blah 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 but there are people in need and you don't care you may even say well they need to find a job while you are praying for help to god how weird is that man that is bad that is so bad let me stop here god bless you